All right guys, so uh, today's video is a little unorthodox and it's a little outside of what I intended to be. Uh, long story short, it was a long weekend. I didn't get a chance to film anything um, because I had two shoots back to back. I shot for 24 hours within a 48 hour period. So needless to say, I'm a little tired. But I didn't want to leave you guys without anything this week, so I decided to do a quick little update for you guys because some cool stuff happened and some not so cool stuff happened. The not so cool stuff happened, uh, essentially I forgot my tripod, which is why there's this weird angle. But uh, I'm trying to switch it up. I got some new lights in the back. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Hopefully you guys enjoy this new setting and hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, I just don't have the complete setup that I had hoped. Long story short, more bad stuff that happened. Essentially, uh, as you guys know, I originally purchased the Chill Pill um, Advanced Formula, which out of the box, it felt really great, really comfortable. Um, there was a little bit of an issue with the heel. Um, essentially, this part right here was digging into the back of my heel. Um, so there's a little bit of disappointment in that, but long story short, I was training in these in, for less than a week. Um, I went to go uh, warm up my rope climbs for the day, and essentially what ended up happening was is the glue on the bottom of the sole, on the outsole, essentially became undone, and pretty much the shoes kind of became unusable for the rest of the workout just because uh, I had this annoying sort of... Um, hanging piece of outsole material um, affecting uh, the back of my head and my mental game and so it kind of threw me off. Um, I ended up reaching out to Strike Movement and they were super cool about it. Um, I had essentially posted a story about it. Um, they responded and said, hey, uh, make sure to get in contact with our customer service uh, team and uh, I got in touch with them. About a week later, there was just a bunch of stuff going on. Um, long story short, uh, they said, hey, we'll send you out another pair. I said, cool, uh, would it be possible if I could upgrade to the uh, Transit? And they said, yeah, no problem. Um, only thing is you wanna go up Papa size. So with my, uh, the regular chill pills, those are size 10. With the Transit, uh, they said to go up half a size. So on those, I'm at 10 and a half. Um, so I'm like, cool, great. Uh, next thing you know, I'm like, hey, do you guys want me to send this back? And they said, no, don't worry about it. We're gonna send you the pair of uh, transits. Um, and I said, okay, how much do I owe you? And they said, nothing, it's free. So I was like, super dope. Uh, this is sweet. Uh, I get two shoes uh, for the price of one, uh, and I get two videos or two more pieces of content for you guys. So this here, if you guys can see this, this is the uh, Chill Pill Transit AF. The biggest difference between this and the regular Chill Pill is that this one has the cross platform. So this shoe is essentially going to be uh, better for uh, things like rope climbs. Um, I think overall it's going to be a better fit and a better ride. Another big caveat with the shoe is that the heel the back heel on this shoe is designed way better. It almost like cups your Achilles. Um, so I'm not sure if that's going to add an extra level of comfort or to kind of uh, reduce the strain on your Achilles, but um, these ones are way, way more comfortable. On these ones, I definitely had to break these in before I got to a point to where I felt like it, this heel wasn't digging into um, the back of, of my Achilles. So I still plan on giving you guys an update video for you guys on this shoe uh, just because I still feel like I owe you guys uh, something in regards to my overall thoughts on this shoe. Um, I definitely still do wear this shoe quite a bit uh, daily, uh, but I haven't been actually training in this shoe be since the uh, outsole incident took place. And then last but not least, we got two new updates on what the actual final version of the Nano 9 uh, and what it's gonna look like. Um, 
and based off of these pictures i think these shoes actually probably look like the one of the best shoes coming out this year i would say the under armor shoes actually look fairly interesting um definitely a pair of shoes that i'm trying to or going to try to get my hands on and do a review for you guys but the nano nines definitely look a lot better than i had anticipated um one of the big things that i uh, initially thought was that the uh, back heel of the shoe had some weird translucent outsold midsole but that's actually not the case i think it's a little bit more of like a decorative um piece to the shoe but overall it just looks like a really good shoe to be quite honest um, my opinions have definitely changed on uh the way that the shoe looks also i'm looking at the shoe while i'm talking to you guys um, but we got two new colorways and in fact the picture that i shared with you guys last time that is what this shoe is actually going to look like um, based off of uh, the individual that got in touch with me. He was like, hey, this is this is the shoe. Um, this is the final version. This is what is going to be sold to the public. So if you're worried about uh, having a good looking shoe, have no fear, Reebok definitely has you guys covered. Now in terms of performance, I really don't have uh, much to say on that front just because there wasn't um, that info that that person was able to provide for me but um, this definitely looks like a shoe that I'm gonna wear I think the black and uh, gray fly knit shoe is definitely going to be probably the one that I go for I definitely like how it has that gum bottom to it um, but I think it's gonna be a good uh, alternative to the Nike Metcon 5 which as I said looks like I think it's a Jordan 11 no, not the Jordan 11, the Jordan, like, I don't know. It looks terrible uh, to say the least, but guys, let me know down below. Are you guys feeling the new images or, or, or what the Nano 9 is actually going to look like any better than any of the other shoes that are coming out? Um, I'm definitely gonna be trying a lot more different brands this year because I feel like this last year I kind of focused on the two major companies Reebok and Nike but with this year and all the changes taking place with sponsors and uh, the way that the games is run there's probably going to be a lot more people creating stuff I think Crocs now has um, I think it's called the Light Runner um, and I saw Joel from as many reviews as possible training in those I'm not sure if I'm gonna get those, but like I said, there's tons of new shoes coming out that are, are really meeting the market. And I think it's, uh, again, like I always say, it's the best time right now for us as CrossFitters. Whatever your budget is, there's going to be a lot of options. So guys, uh, as I mentioned before, let me know down below. Do you guys like how the Nano 9 is looking? Are you, gonna, are you planning on upgrading from the Nano 8 or whatever Nano or whatever Metcon you're at? Let me know down below. Let me know what you like about it. What, let me know what you don't like about it. Um, I'll try to see if I can get more details on the shoe, uh, but that'll be in due time. And I think again, this is going to be available in April or May or not yeah end of april beginning of may so we got a little bit of time um before these release so you guys can save up however much money you need to save up because i know your gym memberships are super expensive i'm gonna end this here because i still got a lot of work to do um with these uh shoes that i had this past weekend i think i shot like 24,000 photos, who knows? Uh, so guys, as always, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button, because that lets me know I'm creating the kind of content that you guys want to see. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.